Hello and welcome back to the VAR Report YouTube channel. I'm Ryan Sylvia, joined by Dale Dowden and Noah Taylor. We have a third trivia video here on Tennessee football history. If you missed the other two, you can go back on the channel. We have a playlist where we're keeping all the videos. We had every Tennessee wide receiver that has caught a touchdown from Hendon Hooker in the top 20 rushers in school history. Well, this time we're going to switch it over to top 20 passers in school history. You get three strikes. Every correct answer keeps you alive. Every wrong answer is a strike. We started with Dale last time. Then we went to know we'll go back to Dale this time. We'll get right into it. Dale, who do you want to take? Mm, Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning. He's number one on the board <laughs> and he is done over 11,000 passing yards for Peyton Manning. Once again, uh, just like the last video, all of these stats are from sportsreference.com. Peyton Manning, 11,201 passing yards, which is well over number two in school history. Noah, who do you want? Uh, I will go with Eric Ainge. Eric Ainge, number three on the list. Eric Ainge, uh, one of the more recent ones, 2004, 2007. He's got 8,700 passing yards at Tennessee. We'll go back to Dale. Tyler Bray. Tyler Bray is at number four. Tyler Bray, of course, 2010 to 2012. He sits just behind Ainge at over 7,000 passing yards. Uh, I will go uh, Casey Clawson. Casey Clawson, number two. So that's the top four taken oh, wow. off the board. Casey Clawson, <laughs> the Iceman, over 9,000. Just just under that 10,000 mark for Casey Clawson. Top four off the board. Mm. Navy Shewer. Uh, Heath Shewer, sorry. Not Navy. Heath. Not, not Navy, but yeah, he's not there yet. Not there Navy's yet. His dad is in at number yeah. 13. Keith Schuler is uh, 4,089 yards, so he, he makes the cut at number 13. Noah, back to you. Uh, I will say Andy Kelly. Andy Kelly, number six. He's on there. He had uh, 6,397 yards. He makes the list. Dale, back to you. Mm. T. Martin. T. Martin, national championship winner. He's on the list, 4,592. He's in at number 10. Oh, yeah, my turn. Sorry. Uh, I'll go really recent and say Hendon Hooker. Hendon Hooker is also on the list. Just two seasons, he made his way all the way up to number eight. That's what happens when you play for Josh wow. Eichel, though. <laughs> right with a lot of yards, 6,080 in those seasons. Mm. Todd Helton. Todd Helton just misses it, actually. Uh, if you go down, you know, just misses it, but he does miss it. He's he's at 41. I saw his name when I was going through this, but uh, he just has, missed it. He missed it. <laughs> well, I remember, I remember scrolling down and seeing his name, but he was farther down than even I remember, 484. So so he is going to miss this one. That is Dale's first strike. Um, going to go uh, Jonathan Crompton. Jonathan Crompton's in it. He's at number 11. Crompton, he's 4,187 at 11. Back to Dale. Mm. I might get stoned for this guess, but as long as he was there, is Garantano on the list? Yeah, he's all the way up at number seven. So he, wow. he made his way yeah. pretty high. 2017 to 2020, he threw a lot of footballs while he yeah. was at Tennessee, and, and he, he's all the way up there, so. Solid guess. Back to Noah. Man, uh, one thing about this that you don't have the luxury of with the others is uh, they didn't throw the ball around a lot going way too back. So <laughs> you're trying to think is in the last 20, 30 years. Uh, but I'll, I'll go a little further than that. I'll, is Jimmy Streeter on there? Jimmy Streeter's there, number 16. Oh, wow. Okay. 3,433 passing yards for him. Good guess from Noah. Back to Dale. Josh Dobbs. Josh Dobbs. I was waiting for it. He's at number five. He is on the list. He totaled over 7,000 passing yards. Oh, boy. Um, uh, his, his career got cut short, so I don't know if he's on here. I'll, I'll say uh, Tony Robinson. Tony Robinson at number 19. He just <laughs> makes the cut. He's in 3,332 yards. Mm. 
Is Conrad Holloway on the list? Conrad Holloway is the last player on the list at number 20, and he goes up to 3,102 yards. So that leaves us with the number nine quarterback, number 12, 14, 15, 17, and 18 remaining. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to take a risk again and go back when they ran the ball a lot. I'll, I'll say Dewey Warren. Dewey Warren at number 18. <laughs> Noah's got another one, 3,339. I am stopped. <laughs> At this point, I, I'm trying to think of old schools. I'm like, we have a guy from the '80s. We have uh, <clears throat> a guy from the 21st century. We have uh, another guy from the '80s. Guy from the 21st century. Uh, seven, 60s, 70s, and I guess that's it. Hmm. But two two guys from two thousand or later. Is Rick Clausen on the list? Rick Clausen isn't on the list, but he was very close at number twenty two. Just missed the cut. Played from two thousand four two thousand five. He is in there. Two strikes for Dale. I'm gonna go. You said sixty seventies guy. Is it Bobby Scott? Bobby Scott's there, number 17. Noah is on fire. He's got 3,371. Played from 68 to 70. Dale to stay alive. Did Justin Worley somehow make the list? Justin Worley made the list, number 15. He threw for 3,556 yards from 2011 to 14. Dale stays alive. Hmm. Back to Noah. Uh, that leaves one player left that played in the 21st century on the list. Okay. And there are three players left. Uh, Bubba White. See you in there. Bubba White is not in there. He ah. was at number 23, 2018 yards played in the late 60s. That's Noah's first strike. I am so lost. You got a guy that, that's pretty recent that, that snuck onto this list. I'll give you that hint since this is apparently Noah's specialty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <sighs> I feel like I'm going to be mad when I hear this name, too. You will be. You will be. <laughs> it, it'll surprise you, but you'll be mad. And if you're really drawing a blank, we can swing it over to Noah if you want. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I'm sitting here trying to think of the, the recent guy, too. Uh, but I'll try, to, I'll try to go later again, since apparently I... I remember those for some we'll reason. Lock up a win here if you get it. Yeah, uh, I will say Jeff Francis. Jeff Francis, number nine. He is on the list. He threw for 5,867 yards from 85 to 88. And with that, Noah gets the win. Noah, you can try to clear the board if you point. You got two left, number 12 and number 14. It's yours to guess. Gosh, man, I'm... I'm trying, <laughs> trying so hard to think of a, a recent guy that just wouldn't that would make sense. Uh, uh, we've already we've already determined Worley was on there. Yes. Um, and the other guy was in the '80s. Uh, the '80s. I will go. Man, I don't know if he was here long enough. Um, Daryl Dickey? Daryl Dickey is not going to be it. He's ah. at 26, 1,355 yards. Mm. Uh, we'll open, up, open up the floor if you have anything, Dale. If either of you guys have something to try to see what you can get left. Did Sterling Hinton uh, make it? Nope. Stole ah. the pearl. <laughs> 
<laughs> not going to be on the list. Let's see where he is. Uh, can't find him for some reason. He is number 28. Oh, uh, Alan Cockrell. Is... Alan Cockrell, that's yeah. going to be him. He is uh, number 14. So that is it. And one more guy on the board. You guys are going to be kicking yourselves. Like I said, <laughs> I'll surprise you maybe, but you definitely know who he is. And his last guy at number 12, if you want to take any stabs at a very recent guy. Well, very recent. Uh, uh, Nathan Peterman? Nope, not Nathan Peterman. Uh, Re- more recent than that. Good gosh. Uh, jo- did Joe Milton make it? Joe Milton. Joe wow. Milton was there at number 12. 4,159 yards in his three season career at Tennessee. That one surprised me too. I thought yeah. there was a chance he'd sneak on it, j- just like we saw with Hooker. Yeah. yeah. Offense, but uh, 2,813 yards last year, that in its own. Uh, 2,813 would have put him at number 21. So oh. you combine that with a, a couple other seasons, and, and he's he's all the way up there. But you guys got all of them except for two, and Noah ended up getting that, that second guy as, as well. So. Uh, well played from you guys. Noah now improves the two-on-one in Tennessee football trivia over Dale. We'll be back with another episode of this next week, next Thursday. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Head over to ValReport.com. Hope you enjoyed.